G'day people, how are you? It's uh, Joe Springer, Springer Solar. Your Wi-Fi is not working on your inverter. Let's get it sorted for you. So you've either changed your password, you've gone to a new internet service provider, you've got MBN on, you now have to reprogram the Wi-Fi settings on your inverter. First thing you need to do is get out near your inverter and make sure you can see your Wi-Fi network uh, using your phone. If you cannot see your Wi-Fi network, there is no way that your inverter is gonna be able to be connected to the internet. So check on that. If you don't have a Wi-Fi network out near your inverter, you'll need to put in a Wi-Fi extender or you can do a couple of other options. Um, we won't be going through those on this video. So let's make sure that we've got the Wi-Fi network on your phone, first things first. Now, if you haven't changed internet providers, one thing you can do is just shut down your inverter and fire it back up again and see if that does reconnect to your Wi-Fi. If it hasn't, then we need to go into the inverter, change the settings and get you going. Let's have a look at it now. Okay, so we're here with the SunGrow inverter. We're gonna get your Wi-Fi reconfigured or your Wi-Fi set up. Let's get into it. So with your SunGrow inverter, they've got this little dongle down the bottom here and a gecko, woo, look at him. Um, so yeah, we've got a little dongle down the bottom. That's where all your Wi-Fi comes from. That's what we need to set up. So to get it going, first thing you do, is click this button three times. As Soon as you do that, you're good to go. Okay, so you need to download the iSolar Cloud app. Looks like this orange app here. If you've already got it on your phone, you click on that. Jump in there, as soon as you get in there, you just hit support down the bottom. Then you go to local access. So you're locally connecting to the inverter. So we click on local access. So on the dongle is a QR code and you scan that. iSolar Cloud wants to join the network, hit join on that and away you go. Okay, so it comes up with user and the password is PW1111. So here we go, we can see the local plant. We then want to come down to the bottom here, go more. We want to go WLAN configuration. Okay, so when you see your uh, networks list here, you need to click on the one that you're going to use. Click on that, you need to put the password in. So paste the password in, beautiful. Connecting to home network now. Password setting successful, we are now connected. So now that we have the Wi-Fi connected, you'll see this WLAN button in the middle here. It's got a solid blue light on it. That's how we know we're all connected, ready to go. Everything's perfect. Once all this is done, if you still cannot connect and it's absolutely driving you bonkers, one thing you can do is just this little dongle here, just to reset that, just remove it. So there's two little clips on either side of it. You can just remove it, plug it back up. Like so, and just reset that dongle, then go back in and uh, reconfigure your Wi-Fi again. Thanks for watching.